welcome to the final lecture of this topic type 6 let's solve few other miscellaneous questions from this concept 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 is divided by 2 by 5 minus 5 by 9 plus 3 by 5 minus 7 by 18 we shall find out the result of this so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 divided by 2 by 5 minus 5 by 9 plus 3 by 5 minus 7 by 18. So LCM in the numerator is 60. We get 30 minus 15 plus 12 minus 10. And in the denominator, let's bring these two terms together. So 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 minus 5 by 9 plus 7 by 18. And this value becomes 17 by 60 by 1 minus 17 by 18. This is equal to 5 by 5 which is equal to 1 that is why I have written it 1. Now 17 by 60 into 18 on bringing this above we get 18 here and this is equal to 51 by 10. If we write it in mixed fraction this 5 1 by 10. This is the answer. Let us solve another question. One third of the boys and one half of the girls of a college participated in a social work project. If the number of participating students is 300, out of which 100 are boys, what is the total number of students in the college? Let us solve this. Yes, given that number of boys who have participated in the project is 100. And it said that one third are boys. So this 100 is equal to one third of the total strength. Therefore, 1 by 3 of boys is equal to 100. Now, total number of boys are 300. On sending this 3 above, we get 300. And what about girls? One half of the girls have participated in the project. So, half of girls is equal to 200. Why it is 200? Because the total strength is 300. Out of this, boys are 100. So the remaining part should obviously be girls. So it is 200. On sending this to here, we get the total number of girls as 400. So the total number of boys are 300 and the total number of girls are 400. Then how to find the total number of students in the college? By adding the boys and girls strength. On adding boys plus girls, we get 300 plus 400, which gives us the total strength of students. So the final answer is 700. All these are pretty simple concepts if you understand the question. Simplification is a huge topic. Make sure you practice well. All the best.